G'day, Ice Cream Lovers. My name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this episode of the podcast. I just keep calling it a podcast. I can't get over it. We do have a podcast, actually. Um, but really, we need to call this the Scoop School Sessions. G'day, Ice Cream Lovers. Welcome to this session of Scoop School. Glad to have you here. Broadcasting from St. Louis, Missouri, all around the world. Talking to ice cream lovers, ice cream creators, manufacturers, suppliers like you. Do want to thank our episode sponsor, Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company. The Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company, no, they don't sell chocolates. They sell chocolate ice cream and a whole lot of other ice creams based in Madison, Wisconsin. They've won new flavor of the year, gold medals in ice cream, blue ribbons in ice cream. Uh, Dave, Sarah, the whole crew up there, Fantastic people, fantastic ice cream. Click on the link down below, chocolateshopicecream.com. If you either want to sell uh, their ice cream and brand it theirs, or you can basically sell their ice cream and say, hey, it's kind of ours. Anyway, the link's down below, check them out. Tell them that I said hello when you're talking to them up there. I wanna to talk today a little bit about extracts because we do get a lot of people in class who, look what I say, watch too much Food Network, if you know what I mean. Basically, they want to create flavors out of products that perhaps are problematic to make flavors out of. Either they're adding too much water or they're not stabilized or manufactured to be frozen long term. So when you look at extracts, you say, well, extracts, um, they're not the most dynamic, pulp-ridden, uh, particulate-laden products, but they have a great role in helping you make great quality ice cream. Part of that reason is that number one is that they're liquid only. They're a very concentrated liquid. And what that means is it can add color and flavor without adding a lot of water to dissipate your butter fat. You'll find that everything you put into your ice cream mix, your soft serve mix, your custard mix, is going to dissipate that fat just a little bit and anything with more water in it, more solids, more sugar, is going to drop down or dilute the butter fat. That's why an extract is very, very concentrated. Generally you need about one ounce per gallon and what it does is it allows you to get a lot of punch, a lot of punch to your ice cream flavors uh, without dissipating the mix a lot. So that's one reason I really like extracts. The second is that, look, most extract companies will say there's a 12 month shelf life on this. But honestly, I'm just gonna walk off camera for a bit. I'm back. I wonder if you were watching there and you probably thought, Steve is a ghost. This is a national uh, ICC concentrate natural pink peppermint. I don't know, I'm about halfway through it. Uh, I generally crank this out every Christmas time when I make a pink peppermint ice cream. I think I've been using this for about 12 years. Now, yes, it says it's only got a one year shelf life on it, but a lot of extracts can go way past their shelf life. So even though a uh, company may say, well, look, this is the shelf life on it, honestly, um, they're so concentrated and they're very easy to use and they'll go way past their shelf life. Up to you as you whether want to capitalize on that, but that's what I'm saying. Easy to use, very concentrated, long shelf life. You don't have to keep them refrigerated. So once you pop the cap off one of them, they can just basically sit on the shelf. I really, really like them as well. Now, you might be thinking, Steve, I don't want to use extracts because often they're not a very natural flavor. Look, I get that. But what ends up happening is if you've got something like a fresh strawberry extract, you don't use this as the whole profile for your flavor. You basically can take uh, maybe, let's say, uh, three cups of uh, strawberry puree to put into your ice cream base. Again, it's not gonna be overly flavorful. It's gonna be a relatively off-white or a dull pink color. Uh, and you're not going to get the flavor as well as dissipating the mix, but maybe a half an ounce or a quarter of an ounce of this per gallon will just lift the flavor and lift the color a little bit. So you don't have to use an extract just for the primary flavor base itself. You can use it to enhance other flavors. And that's what we do here at Scoop Skill. I've been doing it for over 20 years in the industry, basically using extracts to help either provide that primary flavor or lift other flavors. And we've got a lot of companies here. Again, we've got Flavor Fountain, Lockhead Vanilla, Nielsen Massey, uh, we've got Waffle Cone Zone, we've got Green Mountain Flavors, Weber Company, National. 
we use a lot of them. So again, they last a long time, multi-uses, um, and you've got companies, again, like Green Mountain Flavors that specialize in all natural. So you can go that way if you so choose. I really like them. I think that they are great to have on the shelf, particularly when you're in the process of experimenting with different flavors, or perhaps like the Pink Peppermint here, running a flavor maybe once or twice a year, but not wanting to order a new bottle every single time. Extracts are your man. Hey, here's a last little, uh, if you're hung around towards the end, here's one last little tip. They're easy to sample too. So a lot of times you can get companies that'll send you a sample, which might be a one, two or three ounce sample that you can use rather than someone cranking open a uh, number 10 can or a large case easy to sample too. That's a bonus point for you. Anyway, again, thanks to our sponsor, Chocolate Shop Ice Cream. If you have a problem in the ice cream industry, if you've got your ice cream shop here and you go, you know what, I really need a, a question answered that will help me grow my business, drop it in a comment down the, below. You can also email us, info at scoopschool.com. We'd love to hear from you. And as we say at the end of every, every and every, and as we say at the end of every episode, Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next one.